Step 2. Advanced Reservation, Releasing, and Messaging In this step, we will present some additional teamwork messaging features. We will also investigate how two team members can work together on a teamwork project and use messaging to handle the necessary project communication. We will continue to prepare annotated element schedules as part of the construction documentation. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Double-click to activate the 5.2.1 Door Schedule Preset View in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator View Map. A door schedule will appear on the screen shortly. The schedule will display the ID, library part name, width, height, 2D symbol, as well as the 3D front view of the door in the project. Click the Reserve button at the bottom of the Settings pane on the left to reserve this schedule. Close the left pane of the schedule window by clicking the small black triangle right of its upper part. Then click the Fit Width button on the bottom part of the window next to the scroll bar. Click the 3D front view cell of the first scheduled door to highlight it. As you can see, a small annotate tag appears at the upper left corner of the cell. By clicking this, a separate project view opens displaying the generated 3D front view of the door. You have all the 2D drafting tools of ARCHICAD to annotate the 3D front view of this door. You can draw lines, fills, create associative dimension chains, and so on. We will now continue the development of the construction documents by creating such annotated schedules. Select the options, Project Preferences, Levels and Project North menu item. We will modify the name of one of the reference levels to finished floor level in order to use it in the dimensions created for the elevation dimensions of doors. Click the Reserve button at the bottom of the dialog to reserve it. Click the second reference level in the list of reference levels to select it. Then modify its name to FFL which stands for Finished Floor Level. Then click Release to release your reservations and click OK to leave the dialog. Mary Jones, our project leader, must make this change because Joe Smith's role does not allow him to change any of the project preferences. Reopen the left pane of the schedule window. Click the right pointing arrow next to the Release button at the bottom of the left pane and select Release and Comment. This will release the schedule and will also write a message to the team members. Delete the default text and type Please issue a send and receive and then annotate door schedule. Finally, Click Send to send the message. Switch to Joe Smith's instance of ARCHICAD. Notice the new message from Mary. Issue the Send and Receive Changes command to get the latest project updates. Open the floor plan window. Click to activate the dimension tool in the toolbox. Open its settings dialog by clicking its icon in the toolbox. Click the favorites button at the top left corner of the dialog. Select Linear Dimension 1 Favorite from the list and click Apply to load its settings. Finally, click OK to proceed. 
click to activate the line tool in the toolbox. Open the line default settings dialog and open the apply favorites dialog. Select the line 1 favorite entry from the list and click the apply button to load its settings. Click OK to proceed. Double click to activate the 5.2.1 door schedule preset view located in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. Click the Reserve button in the left panel of the generated schedule to reserve it. Click in the first cell in the ID column for the first door in the list. The whole row and the whole column of the clicked cell are highlighted in blue, while the cell you clicked is highlighted in light blue. This helps for very easy identification of the cell you are in. Press the Tab key twice on your keyboard. Notice that the Tab key is used to move horizontally, from left to right, one cell at a time in the interactive schedule. By pressing Shift and Tab, you can move horizontally in reverse, from right to left. Press the Enter key twice on your keyboard, and notice that by pressing Enter, you can move vertically downward. Use the Shift and Enter key combination to move upward in the schedule. As you can see in the selected cell, the width column displays 0.89 meters for the width of these doors. In the next row, you can see other doors with the D102 ID, but they are 0.90 meters wide. We need to correct these incorrect door widths. Click the Select on Floor Plan button at the top of the interactive schedule viewpoint. This takes you to the Floor Plan window and selects the two doors in question. Activate the Window, Schedule, D1 Door Schedule Menu command to return to the interactive schedule. In the Colored Workspaces field of the Teamwork palette, select the Show Reservation by Users option. Items in the cells of the schedule are now color-coded, just like in other viewpoints, so you can easily identify which elements are reserved by which users. Click the Reserve button in the Teamwork palette to reserve the elements displayed in the interactive schedule cell. All door objects that are listed in the cell are reserved. As you can see on the floor plan, this means two doors. When the reservation is done, the row of these elements is now shown in Joe Smith's color. Modify the width value from 890 to 900. Activate the View, Refresh, Rebuild menu command to regenerate the schedule. Click the first cell in the 3D front view column for the first door in the list. Note that the second row is now displayed in gray. This coloring shows that some elements of the row are reserved by Joe Smith and some are not. Also note that the annotate tag appears in the upper left corner of the clicked cell. In the colored workspaces field of the teamwork palette, Select the All with Original Color option. Click the Dimension Settings button in the Settings pane to the left of the generated schedule. It's possible to generate dimensions automatically for preview drawings such as a 2D symbol or 3D front view of scheduled doors and windows. We will place such dimensions first and then add some more as needed. In the Automatic Dimensions dialog, set the Dimension Line Distance field to 200 and select Below and Right in the Dimension Position field. Finally, click OK. Check the Add Automatic Dimensions checkbox in the Settings pane of the schedule. Automatic dimensions are generated for the 3D front views of all doors showing the width and height of each door. 
Click the 2D symbol field of the first row of doors to select it. Set the automatic dimensioning the same way as the 3D front view. And check the Add Automatic Dimensions checkbox. All preview pictures are now automatically dimensioned. Let's provide some more drawing data to the 3D front view. Select the 3D front view cell again, and click the Annotate tag to enter the editing window for the 3D front view. Maximize the window so you have plenty of screen space to work with. Turn on the grid snap from the view menu. Activate the line tool from the toolbox. Draw a 4 meter long line at the bottom of the door with the help of the grid lines. Turn off the grid snap from the view menu once you are ready with the line. Click to activate the dimension tool. Open the dimension settings dialog from the info box. Click the favorites button. Select the elevation dimension 1 favorite and click apply to load its settings. Make sure that the finished floor level, or FFL, is displayed in the Dimension Origin field. Finally, click OK to accept these changes and leave the dialog. Add the vertical elevation dimension chain to the right of the existing dimension chain. As you can see, the elevation dimension displays the values relative to the finished floor level. This is exactly what we planned to achieve. Click OK to accept changes and leave the annotate window. Double click to activate the 5.2.2 door schedule finished preset view located in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. As you can see in this door schedule, all doors are fully annotated. Switch back to the 5.2.1 door schedule view. Click the right pointing arrow next to the Release button and select Release All and Comment. In the next dialog, click Send and Release All to proceed. Enter the following message, Annotation Done, in the Add Comment Log dialog. Activate the Notify Others by Message radio button. Finally, click the Send button to proceed.